Fadi Ghandour is the quintessential entrepreneur. Fadi is famous as the founder of Aramex. He has now reinvented himself as the executive chairman of Wanda Ventures, a new VC fund focusing on technology investments in the Arab world. Amongst his other notable roles and positions that he holds currently includes the managing partner for Mina Venture Investors, board member for Branch Capital and Endeavor Global. He's on the advisory council of MIT's Media Lab, a board of trustees at the American University of Beirut, founding investor of Maktoud.com in 1999, which was subsequently sold to Yahoo in 2009 and started the digital revolution in the region. He's also the chairman of Rewad, an equity-based fund for micro-businesses and micro-entrepreneurs. He is a graduate from George Washington University. Uh, when people made fun of us saying, oh, uh, you know, web browsers, there is no internet uh, businesses that are going to make it in the Arab world. Why? Because, you know, there is this sense that we are backward. When the guy from Silicon Valley comes, they believe it. So when, when Yahoo came to town, we are suddenly, you know, the industry is happening. Somebody needs to give them that first check so that you can validate that idea, whether it makes sense or not, or to get them to fail. Because in failure is where we learn. I mean, Silicon Valley is the story of saying it sits on the a graveyard of so many startups. Yeah. In the digital economy, uh, the entrepreneurs are not taking permission. They don't care whether licenses come up or don't come up. They're going to build their apps, and they're going to disrupt, and they're going to do stuff, and they don't care. He's a challenger of the status quo, yeah. which is a revolutionary at the end of the day. Retail model is under threat because it didn't grow last year while e-commerce is growing 50%. Yeah. So the people that say people are not buying, they're buying, but they're buying somewhere else. Uh, so I was a revolutionary, so I, and I can't say this because it's so old, they won't throw me in jail. So I was, I was in the demonstration business, right. an Arab student activist. I learned the freedom of thought, I learned the freedom of speech, I learned the freedom of rebelling. If you don't know how to argue your cause, yep. It, your cause is a failure. If you have a degree from a fantastic university and you are boring, you're not going to get employed. You're building the walls and you're telling me now to break them down. If you want to compete, go improve your products effectively and compete with the global products. So what the digital economy is doing to all of us, and God bless Amazon and the rest of them, is that they're getting us to shape up. And we need to start moving away very clearly from this lousy reputation that we have as business people, as being greedy, we don't care about society, we don't invest in society, and let's demolish completely the concept of corporate social responsibility yes. and CSR, because it's about PR. Uh, if you are not activists in the sense that you are active in your society, that you are making a difference in your society, that you are employing because the well-being of society is good, that you're not going to celebrate a company that fires 1,000 people and go buy their shares because their income will improve because they fired 1,000 people, then you are ethical. You know, Aramex in the financial crisis did not fire a single employee. Our revenue went down 10%. We never have ever fired employees. <laughs>